Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Techno Talks here. So in today's video, we're gonna be checking out another speaking case for the Google Pixel 7 Pro. So this time in front of us, we have the Liquid Air, and right away, this case goes for $17.99 on Amazon. So again, if you do wanna check this product out, there will be a link down below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start with the packaging. So here we have the box. It's the same with all speaking cases. We get the logo up there, made for Google Pixel. We get a nice little image of what the case looks like and then the device and also the color. So this is gonna be the navy blue and there is also a matte black version of this case. I usually go for the matte black, but I wanted to get something different, a different color. So I went ahead and got the navy blue. So they are, the, they are both the same price, no changes in the price. So no differences there. If you wanna pick up the black one, go for it. If you wanna pick up the blue one, it's the same thing. So here we have the case inside of this plastic pouch. Go to pop all this to the side and check out our case. So this is the navy blue. So it's like a darker blue color. It's not a bright blue, which I actually prefer this one right here instead of a bright blue color. And it has this nice little pattern on it. So let's go and plop the phone inside of the case. And again, on the inside, we do have this pattern. Uh, this is for like air cushioning. I guess that's what Spigen calls it. It's called the air cushion technology right up there. If you're able to see it, it says it right there with small indents. But again, I'm not sure if it helps out too much, but they've been doing it for years. So it probably does have some benefits compared to some other designs. So here's the phone with the case on top of it. And as you can see, we do have a nice and thin case. So this case isn't a thick case. It's called the air skin. So again, it's a pretty thin case. Won't add too much bulk to your phone. So let's start off with the back and the pattern on the back. So we have these triangles that are just connected together. So they look like little diamonds and you can't really see them. It's very subtle. But again, if you do look closely, closely, you can see them perfectly. So you can't really feel them either. Again, they have very small indents. And so it's like this matte finish on the back. So no issues there. It's not going to be annoying you or anything. So it's perfectly fine. So moving on to the camera lens. As you can see, we do get all around protection. We get a nice large lip around the camera lens. Plus we have these sides covered. Unlike some other cases, especially the one that Google makes for their own devices, they actually keep these sides open, uh, even though they don't really serve a purpose, but I guess it does look better. However, if you do want to protect your camera lens a little more as this metal plate definitely does, this aluminum plate does get scratched up a lot, then this is the case that you're going to go for or, or, this is the style case that you're gonna to wanna to get where it covers the sides of the camera lenses as well. Cause when you set it down, it's gonna to be touching on top of the lens and you're basically gonna be getting no lens protection. And so it'll be all scratched up, maybe even crack it after a while. So this right here, we have a nice large lip. So if you do manage to drop it on its back, then your camera lenses should be fine. With the back, uh, we don't get, it's not a thick case, so you're not gonna get the best protection, but again, it'll do basically everything that a case needs to do. Uh, if you do drop it on its sides, then your phone should be fine. And again, if you do drop it on its back, the camera lens protector will be the first part hitting it. So it'll take up most of the impact. And so your back plate should be fine and it should be free of cracks if you do drop it. Moving on to the front, let's go ahead and check it out. So this does have a waterfall display or an edge display. And so with edge display devices, they look really nice. They look really premium, but you do have a lot of negatives and that comes especially with the protection of the device. So since these sides are curved right here, you can't really add too much of a lip to these sides and you can tell that right away. You can see the top and bottom lips are actually extruding out of the display, but the sides aren't because you can't really do much for that. If you do want to lose out on some screen real estate then go for it, but most case brands don't do that. They don't really want to lose out on the screen. So they go ahead and just make a lip on the top and bottom. So it does usually provide you the protection that you already need. So if you do drop it, the top and the bottom lip are gonna be the parts that are hitting first. However, the sides are not protected. So if you do manage to get a rock chip on the side or something else hits the side, then you're probably gonna end up with a crack display. So I can't really blame the case or the case company for that as that is an issue with the design of the phone. So moving on to the cutouts, we do have a speaker go cutout right there. Uh, it's for a top firing speaker. So you're not going to be losing out on sound quality and the same goes for the bottom we have our bottom speaker grills and the cutouts right there plus we have our charging port cutout so on top we do have a microphone cutout and that is basically it for all the cutouts we don't have a lanyard area or like a string to attach you don't have the two little holes for that 
But again, if you don't, I don't personally use it. I've actually never used it. But for the people that do, this probably won't be the case you're buying. So on the sides, we do have very minimal branding. It just says speaking right there in the bottom left corner. And on the sides, we have this nice design. You can actually feel it. Uh, it has like these little indents. And I guess that's to improve grip. I'm not sure how well it actually works, but usually cases are pretty grippy. You don't usually drop them out of your hand too often. So I guess it does work in most cases. So onto the buttons, we do have our power and volume rocker, and we get a nice little indent on the power button right there. So if it's in your pocket or whatnot, uh, you can actually feel it and you're not going to be confused. Usually you already don't, but for the people, uh, it actually helps a lot more if it's in your pocket and somebody's calling you, you're trying to decline or you're trying to turn off the power, uh, turn off the sound, then all you got to do is click the power button. And when it's in your pocket, this will help you out so much as you can't really see where the buttons are placed. So let's go ahead and test out the buttons. This is probably one of the most important tests that I do in these case videos. And that's usually because some case brands, they make the buttons harder to click and it does get annoying after a while. So starting off with the power button. All right, super clicky and super easy to click. And then the volume rocker. Again, very tactile, just like the power button. So no issues there, no extra forces being applied, and you're still getting all the clicks that you wanna hear from your power button and your volume rocker. So this does test the buttons test. So overall, this is a pretty nice case, has a pretty subtle but nice design to it. And again, this is the blue version of it if you do wanna get a black version, which I might actually prefer the black version. I've had the black version for other uh, air skin cases, but this one, I didn't go ahead and get it. So not too sure about the navy. It does look pretty good, but I might go for the matte black instead. So overall, a pretty nice case. It does have a thin design, and you're not gonna be adding too much extra bulk to your phone. Plus, you're gonna be getting all the protection that you need from a case. So that will basically wrap it up for this video. Again, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you do wanna check this product out, there will be a link down below. So see y'all in the next one.